Well, guys, um, thank you very much for, for, for joining this live. And if you're catching it later, thank you for taking the time to watch it. I, I apologize that I haven't gone live for quite some time. It's, uh, it's, been, it's been a pretty crazy year, but um, I wish we were going live on, on different circumstances. But I would, what I would like to say is that, you know, I do have some really, depending on who's listening, uh, I, I have some really beautiful uh, news to share with you. So this might be somewhat of a roller coaster. And I know that people's attention spans can be quite short these days, so I'll do my best to keep the entire life short. But as I, as I mentioned, I do have quite a bit to go over with you, so if I could get like 30 minutes of your attention, it would be great. However, I do know that I'm going to have to repeat myself several times throughout the year with, uh, with what I'm about to say, and hopefully I get better at it, being that this is going to be my first time kind of talking about it and everything like that. Uh, so first off, um, I just want to say thank you, everybody, for the undeniable amount of amazing and beautiful support you have shown me and my organization. It's been, um, especially recently, uh, you, you really made my birthday so special. And... Um, I just want you guys to know I can't thank you all enough for that. Um, it's been so beautiful to continue to grow this community and to, to feel uh, the amount of support I have felt um, and the amount of love I have felt for both myself and my animals has just been something I never dreamed uh, being possible as a kid or even now. It still hasn't hit me. It's, it's really just incredible, and I just want to say thank you so very much for that to the bottom of my core thank you for giving me the opportunity to rescue animals and a platform to speak about things that i that are important to me however i would like to say that it's been a very uh difficult difficult year for me um and you know i follow a lot of rescues and i i see a lot of rescues I don't like to use the word complain, but you know, you see a lot of rescues that you see when they hit their limits in some ways, and I have not hit my limit, so that's not what this is about. But I've seen a lot of rescues really kind of talk about how hard things can be and how hard things are for them. And I'm very fortunate to have such an audience that carries us so very far in the Patreon community that carries us where there's a lot of things that the Asher House community doesn't have to worry about because of the support that we have. However, um, I'm not taking some of the problems that we're facing very well. And um, I don't feel very good. I don't feel, I don't feel a lot of joy right now. And uh, it's been going on for quite some time, but truth be told, there are some things that I haven't talked about solely because it was too much for me. It was too much for me to deal with and too much for me to talk about. But um, while I was, you know, I went on a quick trip and I, I came back and this month alone, August, has been one of the most difficult months, you know, of my entire life. Losing Jack and Tony were incredibly difficult for me, as you can imagine. But we also um, we also lost Charles. Charles um, passed away as well, and I haven't really been able to talk about it. And in addition to losing Charles, um, Moo, one of our newer rescues, who's very close to me we recently found out has heartworm and I have dealt with it before and I know it's easy to get through for some people, but for me, I, I identify heartworm to Sammy, who was, you know, was the closest thing to a son I ever had. And uh, I've lost three dogs in a month and I want you guys to know that 
I'm only as good as my animals. Um, it's a gift and a curse, but my happiness and my joy and how I view life revolves around them. And I've been having a really hard time. I, I do want you guys to know that I have gotten help. I, I, I am in therapy. And um, obviously I'm talking about it. And I'm, I, I know where my head is at. And my focus is really bringing back some of the joy in my life and the optimism and um, being a little bit like my old self again. I, I, I miss my dogs terribly. And although I still have now, because of Mildred, 28 dogs, it doesn't seem very large to me without Charles, Tony, and Jack. I, there were such critical pieces of the pack to me. And I've, 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 as you get older, you know, when you watch movies, when you watch movies and there's a portion of the movie where the, where the actor is reflecting and it's like real time, you know, they're dreaming or reflecting and it's real time or they're having a memory and it's real time. And I never experienced what that was like until recently where I have so many of these real time moments of how my life used to be. And it, it you know, it, it just used to be so, so much more simple. It, it really was guys. So many of you, it's such a constant email of how to start it that we get asking how to start a sanctuary. And if you look in the comments of any of my photos and any of my videos, every, every few comments, you'll see, I wish I had your life. And I have to really be honest with you. I'm, I'm so grateful for this life. I really am. And I, I, I'd like to think that the, there's not a day that I take any of you for granted or any of this life for granted. But I really sometimes have to, I have to tell you, I, I sometimes think I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I never knew we'd grow so fast. I never knew how many people would not only support us who didn't know us, but how many people who would try to destroy us, who would want to bring us down, who also don't know us. It's, 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 it's difficult for me at this point, you know? I, I, we get so much love and that's what I focus on, but there's also, you know, as this world is suffering and as I see suffering in many different areas, that suffering creates a lot of negativity and jealousy and envy and it, it's, 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 it sucks, you know, it sucks. And to go through the pressure that I'm for the first time this year really feeling um, to go through that while managing, you know, 14 employees and all of the animals and the nonprofit and the business, and my, both my for-profit and my nonprofit, both of those things, it's, it's, it's really, sometimes I feel like I can't do it. And sometimes I, 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 I really feel like I don't want to do it anymore. I'm, I, I was talking about this yesterday, like I've worked in a cubicle before and sometimes I really miss it. You know, sometimes I miss the certainty of no, no animal, not, not more than one dog passing away, an animal getting sick. I, sometimes I really miss simpler times and there's no going back. I'm all in, you know, so I know that I'm all in. And it's weird because every time I lose an animal, it's like I then have, I, 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 people say I don't owe you anything. People say, you don't owe anybody anything, people always say, but that's not true. That's not true. You know, I, I do owe you explanations and I, especially being a nonprofit, there are things that I need to discuss with you. And of course, if I lose an animal, I don't really feel like I have the time to, to grieve and go through the process because, you know, I've, I've built this 
platform by posting all the time and really bringing you guys so so deeply into my life, which I, which I am proud of because I really feel like I have nothing to hide. I think that part of my success um, is due to my transparency. I really believe that part of my success, a big part, is due to my transparency and authenticity. I, I tell you that, you know, I'm far from perfect. I tell you that there are so many things that I want to work on that I need to work on. But, you know, with that comes an explanation every time a dog passes away and I'm running out of speeches. I feel like I'm running out of speeches. I have so many beautiful, beautiful things that I love about my animals and when they pass, sometimes I just want to tell them. Sometimes I just want to tell the animal, the dog or, you know, the cow, I just want to tell them what I end up writing to you because I don't believe what I write on social media. The animal is reading, you know, I, I, I want you guys to know that I miss them and that I care about them, but my heart is with them only, not, not online. Right. And it's, it's losing, losing three of my children in a month. No, how, no matter how you, many times you see me smile in my stories, no, how, no matter how many times you see me laugh, I can't describe the pain. And I just wish I never had to go through it again. But I know that I'm only going to continue to go through it. Which brings me to tell you, you know, Pom Poms is so old. <laughs> she, she's, I can't tell you, she's probably lost right now. She's barking. I have to go get her and put her somewhere, you know. She, she, Muffin is so old. The dogs are getting older. They've hit a point where I think they're releasing me. It feels like they're telling me that I have matured to a place where maybe I am mature enough to deal with this next chapter of my life. But I don't want to go through it without them. But it's clear that it's not up to me. You see, it's not my choice. So through this pain of dealing with, I just want to put this in perspective because I I respectfully do feel that although I have so many people who love me, and I'm so grateful for that, whether it be you who watch my videos, my friends, my family, the people who work with me, the Patreon community, although I know I have so much love in my life, I don't feel like anyone truly understands how hard this is. Not just the loss, it's not just the grieving, Again, it's the grieving while running the sanctuary, my primary businesses, taking care of all of the animals, making sure they're getting all the vet treatment, driving them to where they need to go to. It, it's a lot, you know? And when I'm out in public and people come up to me, which is so often, and it, it's so beautiful. I. There's no one that I would see in public. If I saw them, I would go up to them, right? There's no one that I would care to go up to. So when people come up to me, it's so beautiful to be able to give them that experience because I love meeting these people. I do. But, you know, and I, I'm truly happy when I do. But I sometimes they don't know that I, I was just crying in my car. I just got out of the car. I was just crying. You know, I was just in a... So it's, it's just been something that I've never experienced and never saw myself experiencing. But I'm, I, I really am grateful for the opportunity. Um, now, moving on to the next chapter of some beautiful news that is unfortunate that it's very hard for me to enjoy right now. 
but I know that this beautiful news is going to come with a lot of hostility from people who want to bring us down. And I want to face it now with you. And this is the part that I know I'm going to have to confront several times throughout the year, which I'm prepared for. It's very important that people understand financially, I'm very lucky to have succeeded in my other businesses to the point where I don't have to take money from the nonprofit. I don't have a salary. There's nothing wrong with people doing that, nothing whatsoever. But luckily I come from a background of entrepreneurship, self, self-wise, and I've worked very hard to get to where I'm at right now. And I say that because for those of you who don't know, I've been looking for a new property for quite some time. I've been looking to expand the Asher House Sanctuary, and I haven't been able to do that using nonprofit funds, being that I live on the property, that I'm going to, even though I live there with the dogs, even though I live there with all of the, the cows and the goats and horses and donkeys, etc., alpacas, llamas, sheep, you name it, pigs, it's still a personal investment that I can run the nonprofit on. And I have done that. I'm very, very proud and beyond grateful to say that um, I have acquired 240 acres. This deal has brought me immense stress over the past four months, thinking I'm going to get it, not getting it, back and forth. I cannot ex- express to you the roller coaster of emotions and how it's affected both myself and my team. But we have done it, we have accomplished it, and it's magnificent, almost to the point where to some may think it's too magnificent. It, it has a huge house, there's no hiding it. There is a, it's an 11,000 square foot beautiful home on a 25 acre lake, right on 240 acres with two barns that needs a ton of work. The, it, it, the whole, everything is a full remodel, everything, which is why it caused my team so much stress, you know, but I felt that this was the place. I knew that this was the place. I, I, I could, I, I tried guys, I tried, I tried, harder than you can imagine to find something that I loved. I didn't have to love it as much as this one. I didn't have to love it even half as much. I, it just needed to be a little bit. Something that had over a hundred acres with a house on it that was close to a city. I don't, didn't want to live in the middle of nowhere anymore where I couldn't get packages, where I couldn't do lives, where I couldn't have phone calls. I mean, it, to be so in the middle of nowhere it really started to get dangerous with wildlife. We had an incident with coyotes. We had, there was no way to get to an emergency vet. It was, it was really tough. It was really tough. And we outgrew it. We outgrew it so quickly. You know, people would say on videos when I would post about the cows, shouldn't they have pasture? Should the cows be on hills? Should the goats be this? You know, everyone has, but, the truth is they were right. You know, I needed pasture and, and this, this was the homeland. This, this, this place, it just consistently called to me. It has a hundred acres of beautiful forest, endless acreage for the animals. There's four houses on it. So the people that work with me can live on the property. We're eventually gonna Airbnb all three buses and two of the homes. Where, where people who come and can do tours on the property and fully have the Asher House experience on a whole nother level. I'm trying to build something that I understand is more than just ambitious, but when you have a level of certainty of a vision that I have, 
it's not, it's, it doesn't even sound complicated to me. To the outside eye, how are you going to do this? It's going to take a lot of work. It's not possible. But for me, I have no doubt. Listen to my voice when I tell you this. Listen to me. I have no doubt I'm going to make this place the most beautiful animal sanctuary that anyone has ever seen. Anyone has ever seen, not just in the United States, but in the world. I, I give you my word. It will be a process, but I'm going to make this place the homeland for animals, for not just dogs, for every animal that we're allowed to rescue. This is going to be the happiest and most beautiful place in the world for them, not just the animals, but for you too. And inside me, I have Stella, Sammy, the previous CC, if you haven't met her, a different CC. I have, I have, sorry, I really want to keep it together here. <laughs> but I have Tony, I have Jack, I have Charles, all of the animals. And, and I believe in this mission. I, I, I believe in this mission. And although the truth is, that I wish sometimes I still lived in an RV because my problems in the RV, looking back, man, how stressed out I used to get about the problems I had then. Boy, oh boy, those problems were like, were like walking in the park. I mean, so, so, so not problem. I wish sometimes I lived in the RV, bless you cover, but I live now this life. This is what the universe chose for me. And I take full responsibility. This is the life that I chose. I know that with this life, I'm not just going to get love, but a significant amount of hate because haters are going to hate. But this is my, this is not only my dream home. It is not only my dream home. It is my dream sanctuary. This is my last stop. This is my mission here, right here. This is my mission. This is where I want to grow every sort of family I can put into words. My, my animal family, eventually my personal family. This is my life that I'm fully and completely dedicated to. The size of the horsefly that just bit my ankle is making me question if this is the right place for me. <laughs> it hurts. <sighs> Boy, I'm gonna need some sort of Neosporin or like an ointment, like maybe some uh, sort of ice. We might look for another location that doesn't have these horse flight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, for the, for the time that I get through the pain that I've gone through, not just the, in the month of August, but full transparency throughout this year. Um, but I, um, Besides when I'm, you know, joking around and stuff, it, I find it hard to find joy in things at the moment. And I'd like to ask you, and I hope you don't take this the wrong way. I don't say this to be rude, but I want to save your time. Um, you know, I'm being very transparent with you about where I'm at in my life and seeking help and, 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 um, you know, I just started therapy, so it's not you know, doing much yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure that it will. But, I, you know, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm kindly requesting that you guys just support emotionally. And what I mean by that is, you know, when I tend to be open, I, you know, let me just skip the BS. Don't flood the inbox. We, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to read the really long emails about, you know, feeling better and dealing with grief and I have all the books. You don't need to send me the books. And for God's sake, no wind chimes. I don't need, I have more wind chimes than a church. I don't need any more wind chimes and I don't need bells. Nothing that creates noise, no books, journals. I just, just your emotional 
just your thoughts. Um, but I found it, found it important to share this with you about Charles and about Moo with Heartworm that, you know, I'm really hoping we get through. And Mildred is, uh, is, is not a distraction, which I'm really grateful for. She's a beautiful focus. She does have Lyme disease. You know, I never had, I've never adopted a dog in such terrible condition, but I did want to tell you that she's been such an inspiration that the, t the team and I have decided um, that's really going to be the focus of our rescue missions when it comes to dogs. Of course, we're always going to take dogs in need and things like that. And I have to balance the pack, older dogs, puppies. I, I do my best. As you can see, we have a, a, a wide range of ages and breeds. But I do intend on, on focusing on dogs that need our help that are in Mildred's position. So you have the bad and you have the good. The good news is I'm 100% committed to turning this place in, into, like I said, the most beautiful sanctuary in the world. And you will be able to visit and do tours. And we're going to continue to work with Tasha and Justin from Family Dog New Life Animal Shelter and create uh, a portion of the sanctuary for New Life Asher House animals. And and we're open to working with, you know, that's something I was saying yesterday. You know, it's, it's usually just rescues that try to, for some reason, that try to tear, tear down other rescues. And it's always rescues, I hate to use this word, that are really ran by garbage. It's always the nasty, it's always the type of rescues that make people, that, affr that steer people away from rescue. It's those, just, I'm gonna say, you know, nutcases, you know? It's like, it, they wanna tear people down because they're torn down, but we will focus on love and focus on uh, creating as we always do, creating and not destroying, which I really have to tell you, that is why we are part of the reason. Take this as a personal thing. That is why we're able to be here. That is why I'm able to live this life. I've never been focused on destroying even the people or the organizations that I despise, even the ones that I hate, I never allowed my energy to go towards demolishing anything. I, I, and I highly suggest whoever is watching this to live your life that way. Because it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't accomplish it, you know? It, even, let's say you accomplish it, what, then what happens? You, it doesn't create success for you. I've always been focused on success, not, not to say financial, but success as in making people feel good, making people laugh, inspiring people, rescuing animals. Success is something that you can identify any which way as long as it's an improvement. If you have any definition of success in bringing something down, your mind is, is messed up, you know? I have a therapist you can talk to. <laughs> Just kidding. So that is that. I don't think there's much else. Uh, Mildred would, I, she's on medication for her Lyme disease. Moo is on medication for his heartworm. And Pom Pom's, you know, is, 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 is really up there. She's still my baby. Um, Muffin is up there. And I'm, I'm, it's, it's, you know, a big part of this is dealing with the loss that I've had while preparing myself for the loss that I'm about to have. And, um, I do want you guys to know that I, I really am throughout this. I really am grateful to have the support the donations that we received on my birthday, we've never received before. And we need those donations to, re, to, to make this place what I want to create it. Not the house, 
And that's what I want you to be crisp. I, I, I want you to know. And by the way, since we're getting very candid, being that I'm so much in the public eye, I'm not going to risk, you know, uh, a Shakira. I'm not going to risk what Shakira and Wesley Snipes. I'm, I'm, I want to be as, as in good standing with the IRS as possible. And with the size of both our for-profit and non-profit business, I can assure you, we will get audited as often as they can. So I just want you to know that I will never use donation funds to better my personal life uh, as far as, you know, fixing the things in the house. Re I need a, the kitchen. Is, there's no kitchen. I'm not going to use the donations to fix the kitchen. Okay. It's, I, 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 those of you who trust me will trust me and those of you who hate will hate. So just know that we are focused not on rebuilding the house and redoing this. We're focused on the barn, on the sheds, on getting rid of any poisonous weeds. We're, we're having professionals out here to get the poisonous weeds so that the horses can come here and, and the goats can come here and, and, and have a, a safe place for the animals. And, and just know that I'm content. I don't need a big kitchen. I'm content. The house is definitely too big for me, but we have it. And I, I, it's so nice, you know, in my old house in Estacada, guys, it was very difficult for me, for my personal space. I know it looked good for you on camera, but of course I never filmed where I felt claustrophobic. You know, 30 dogs in one thing, it, it was a lot. Now the dogs get to be spread out before it was even too much for them. That's what I wanted to tell you. You know, what's so beautiful about this is the dogs and the cats can all be in the house now. They're all here, all together in the gym, in the, in the living room. They're all, we're all one in that house. You know, the, everyone wanted their own space. You know, it was on, on top of each other. So it, it's a lot, but I, I, I do feel that we've earned it. You know, after living in the RV and the bus, and dealing with all the crap, the crap, man, that I dealt with at the last place. I've worked very hard for this. Every day. 365 days a year. Every single day. You know, I haven't seen family in three years. Um, they're coming to visit me tomorrow. Um, except my dad. I saw my dad a little over a year ago. And I hope he comes to, to visit. My mom is coming to visit me this week. And my brother is coming and my niece. And over the summer, my sisters are going to come. And it's, it's nice. For, it'll be nice, you know, for them to see what I created. Because I, I grew up not many people thinking I would be successful. You know, really bad learning disabilities. Even now, you know, I just, I, I just, there's a lot of things that I'm not good at you know, that I wasn't then, that I'm not now, but I'm good at saving animals and I'm good at loving people and I'm good at trusting people. And I think, and I'm, I'm good at being transparent. And I think that those things fortunately have led to success. You know, I, I, I can't put together a cardboard box if my life depended on it. You know, guys, I'm not joking. I don't get it with the corners and the tape. It, 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 I'm not an architect. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm no engineer, but but I, but I really love, I love animals so much. And I, I told you this, if you've been following me from the beginning, I said, I never let you down. And I, I don't think I have yet. I, I don't think I have yet. And I, I swear to you, I never will. I, I'm only going to continue to grow as a person. You know, sometimes I think about who I, I'm 34 now. I just turned 34. Sometimes I think about the things that I said when I was 33 and it makes me cringe. And sometimes I think about the things that I said and did when I was in my twenties and I have to shower. I have to shower to shake it out of me. I, I, I tell my stop it, shut up. I tell myself. <laughs> so who I know that I'm going to keep making mistakes when I'm 35. I'll regret saying and doing things when I'm 34, but I am only, I'm only going to grow. I'm never going to go backwards. I promise. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to hire the wrong people, make bad decisions. You know, oof, I wish I didn't do that. Oof, I wish I didn't trust that person. 
but it's never going to stop me from trusting people and from growing and from giving and from living and from rescuing and from doing truly what I believe is the only thing that I'd be really good at in my life, which is, which is the Asher house. So, uh, thank you again for, um, the trust and, um, and just for being with me every step of the way. And for those of you who aren't, who want to see us fail, um, we're not going to. We're not going to. And the reason is, goodness always prevails. If, if I've learned anything from not just good people, but if I've learned anything from this organization, for some, for some reason, although rescue can be so dark, it can be, this rescue, it can be so dark and so cruel. For some beautiful, messed up reason, goodness always prevails. It always does. And we're here for the long haul. And we would gladly support any rescue that has the right intentions. Just know this. You can always, any of the rescues that need help, that want us to share, any, any, any of you, we're here to help you. We're not in competition. There, the reason why Tasha and I and other rescues, the reason why we get along so well is because we, we just want to, we just want to help each other. There's no, there's no competition. We truly just want to help each other. And I highly recommend you guys take that route. It's better for you, but more importantly, it's better for animals. It's better for the animals. And at the end of the day, not to be corny, but it's better for the world, man. That energy, it's infectious. So, um, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you to the Patreon community. Thank you to my team, Jacqueline, Kelly, Rebecca, Sonia, Mike. Um, thank you to the personal people in my life who I don't give enough recognition, who are there for me, who help me, who I love so much and who are so good to me. Thank you, you know, for putting up with me. I know how cold I can be and shut off and just weird, but I thank you for knowing that I'm going to, that I'm going to be <laughs> my normal self, you know, 15, 20 minutes later and stuff. Thank you. I'm so lucky to have, to have all of you in my life and to have the support, our Facebook community. There's that freaking horse fly. Why horse flies? You think that may make noises when we that we can't hear? Do you think <laughs> the fly <laughs> my where the fly bit me, my foot is completely numb. From here I think I'm gonna go straight to urgent care. Oof. And thank you to our veterinarian Jessica Jessica Thompson, who I know is going through a lot right now. Thank you to, to everyone in my life. Even the people who, the truth is, even the, the, the hate. Thank you to the people who, the hate, who, who don't like us. You know, you keep me on my toes. It's a gift. You guys really keep me on my toes and, you know, sometimes point things out that I need to be mindful of, truly. You know, you guys actually have done more goodness than, 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 than bad. So thank you for that. Th just, you know what, all of you, thank you for everything. Th thank you all for everything. I, I can't wait till you come and visit one day. I, I really can't. I, I can't wait to show it to you one day. And yeah, oh, invited, by the way, when you're invited. I had a couple people show up unannounced and um, it's never nice when someone looks up to you, you have to, you know, I don't like to say I have to call the police. Now, you know, just don't be a crazy person. 
it's okay to be like the cool kind of crazy, you know, the fun kind of crazy. But don't be the type of crazy that just shows up on someone's property unannounced because you want to see a want to see the dogs. It's it's weird. And a lot and we've had some bites that will they'll get you. I know they look good. they look fun and everything when I'm there, but they'll, they'll get you. <laughs> All right, talking to you, Bentley. All right, guys, uh, I love you. Thanks for everything. How does one get invited? I saw that question. You, it just like any normal invitation, you know, you will get invited. We're next. This is a good time to say next year, we will have tours, and you will get invited through tours starting in April. We will have tours, although the sanctuary won't be complete. I'm really hoping it'll be good enough to to be at that level. And if you enjoy you know, real quick, I wanted to mention, if you enjoy these lives, if you enjoy, you know, please join our Patreon community. It is 100% nonprofit. If you don't want to join our Patreon community, all the merch sales are 100% nonprofit. You can donate at theasherhouse.com to support our mission. And, you know, um, it, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it the sanctuary relies on it. You know, it's, it's not, that's something, again, I want to say thank you for. It's not comfortable asking any sanctuary, any rescue will tell you it's not comfortable to ask, but you guys make it really awesome. You guys are really there for us and it means a lot. And I, I can't wait to show you what we do with this place guys. So that's it. And, uh, thank you. Um, I, I know we're sold out of merch. We're, we're, we're going to have some new merch soon. It's, and you're really going to like it. It's, it's really cool stuff. <sighs> that wasn't easy for me. Um, that, that wasn't easy for me, but it, it does feel, I do feel better. It does, it does feel better to talk about. So I do appreciate you hearing, hearing me out and listening. Don't forget, this is my only account. Please, you know, that's another thing that's been so hurtful are these scam artists who go after mostly the elderly. They've, they scam these people and it's so sad. And, um, you know, people get really mad at us and I just need you to know there's nothing we can do about it. I would, even on my personal funds, I would, I would spend all of my personal funds not all of it. I'm not going to go broke doing it, but I would invest whatever I could basically to prevent these scammers. There's no stopping them. You just have to respectfully be smart about it and know that no one would ever reach out to you. There's only one Asher house. There's only one Asher house and a Patreon and that's it. Um, so, all right. Thank you very much. I love you. And uh, I'll talk to you along the way. Thanks for everything.